fluidized bed reactor this is one of the important anaerobic treatment method so fluidized bed reactor uh, again it is a part of the uh, biological filter media filter so in this fluidized bed reactor a type of reactor device that can be used to carry out the variety of the multi phase chemical reactions so what exactly in this bed reactor so the fluid is passed through the solid granular materials it is similar like as a trickling filter so what exactly in that trickling filter so water is passed through that trickled um, medias so the media we have used that is uh, the sand gravels like that so similarly in this fluidized bed reactor fluid which includes the gas or the liquid is passed through the solid granular material at high enough velocities to suspend suspend the solids so this process is known as the fluidization fluidization means to to pass the fluid from this uh, solid granular material and which imparts many important advantages so this mostly used in the petrochemical industries similarly which is useful in the chemical industries pharmaceutical industries uh, for the treatment of the effluent as well as for the waste water so this is the simple design of this fluidized bed reactor so what exactly in this fluidized bed reactor if you see the uh, the structure this is the gas we call as a, uh, the fluid which is passed through this bed so in this bed solid particles are there and the gas bubbles are are also present in this reactor so solid is incoming solid is from this direction and the output or the the removal of the solids from this particular uh, direction so in this particular uh, uh, reactor this is a distributor so through this distributor the whatever incoming gas or the fluid is coming so that can be distributed through this distribution channel so in this distribution channel there are some nozzles so similar size shape of the nozzles so that distributes that uh, discharges the gas as well as the fluid from this distributors channel when it comes into this reactor they binds to the solid particles and solid particles when they binds to the solid particles they will convert into the so um, they will um, associate and they will convert into the the gas and gas will coming out through this the gas chamber and after the degradation it will uh, collect at this particular site so this is the simple uh, diagram of the fluidized bed reactor so what is the advantages or merits of this fluidized bed reactor so it has a high degree of waste stabilization low production of the excess biological sludge then that can be directly dried on the sludge drying bed without further treatment so this is again uh, you keep very important in this particular point low production of excess biological sludge if you consider other uh, methods they uh, forms a lot of or in large amount of the sludge but in this particular method the very less quantity of the production of the sludge is form in this particular technique or treatment uh, low nutrition requirement it has no requirement of the nutrient so it has requirement of very low nutrition requirement it has no requirement of oxygen means there is no need to the use of the aerators or they provide the energy or electricity for this aerators like that so production of the valuable by products that is methane gas and this is very important in the way of the energy generation or economic point of view to the industry it is beneficial organic loading is not limited this is again very important so most of the biogas they are based on this organic loading so in this particular fluidized bed reactor there is no need or there is no limit of this organic loading and it can work for the lay, uh, less land area or in minimum area land areas so non feed conditions for few months do not affect adversely to the system so uh, mostly this can work seasonally also so these all are important merits or the advantages of the fluidized bed reactor but there are some disadvantages also this particular of this particular uh, treatment or the method what are these so incomplete breakdown of the organic compounds so it is not fully decomposed or degraded this organic compounds so most of the organic compounds they are incomplete breakdown so they again create a problem on the tertiary treatment 
no uh, no uh, through the removal nutrient removal so nutrient removal also uh, not fully removed from this uh, method through this method again later aerobic purification with nutrition removal is often needed so if the nutrients are not removed properly or uh, 100% then you have to apply the aerobic purification system and through this aerobic purification system you, you can remove the, the nutrient which is in the form of nitrate phosphate sulfate mostly present in the sewage as well as in the industrial effluent most efficient purification in the mesophilic range that is 30 to 37 degree centigrade centigrade and this is the important thing uh, of this uh, reactor so this maintain the temperature is very difficult in the reactors whereby the influent must be head, uh, heated in most cases what happened uh, by, uh, by external uh, temperature condition and the internal temperature condition if it is in balance then you have to the balance the temperature so that that uh, the microorganisms they will survive at this particular temperature less robust system with regards to the toxicity and uh, this uh, inhibition risk of the odor problems also uh, most of the time uh, in this uh, fluid as a bed reactor a risk of the odor problem and this is most of the industrialists they are avoiding this uh, method because of this particular risk and uh, robust as I said a less robust system means uh, in the way of toxicity and inhibition it is uh, less robust system so these are the important disadvantages of this method okay so uh, I think you understood about this uh, fluidized bed reactor of this anaerobic treatment method. Thank you.